Maddie Rocks on location at NAM 2020 Anaheim, California, day number four, closing out NAM, joined with special guest, lead vocalist from the band Blame Shift. Hey. Thanks for joining me. You? I'm glad we were able to get this done yeah. this week. Yep. So day number four, NAM. Yes. Uh, break down your NAM week for us and who, <gasps> what was it like? Um, so NAM's been amazing. This is our third year with our company, which is we have a jewelry line. So this is our third year with our company, but we've been coming to NAM for probably like I don't know, 10 years. Mm -hmm. So it's a little different now because I actually have to work and I used to just come and drink and hang out right. <laughs> and play shows. Right. But um, yeah, it's it's been amazing. Um, it, just craziness from the set. Like the first night we got here, um, we went to a Gibson party and it was like we saw Los Lobos play and like hung out with the president of Gibson. Like it started like on the highest note right. and then it just stayed consistent like it's been amazing we saw Los Lobos on on media night oh you did two of the members and it was yeah. like wow I've never seen him before I know and yeah. there they are standing in front of me yep. singing La Bamba I know it's crazy it was great it's totally crazy so give viewers an insight to uh the band Blame Shift and how yeah. you guys came together and came to be yeah so um we started in Long Island New York um my Tim, who is my guitar player, was looking for a singer. Um, very randomly kind of met him, and I was just out of college trying to figure out what I wanted to do with my life, and I went down for an audition, and I hated it. And I was like, I'm never coming back, I'm not doing this. And um, about a month later, he calls me, come back, give it a second shot. I did, and the rest is history. We have been touring 300 days a year for the last 12 years, and yeah. Right that, was a, that was a pretty big turning point in my life. <laughs> right on. Good for you. Um, I, there's always a story behind a name for, for bands. I'm, yeah. I'm curious, what is, the, what is the story behind the name Blame Shift? How did you derive at that name? Well, we like blame each other for everything. So it kind of was like a perfect uh, word. And, and when we first started, when we came up with the name, it wasn't like something anyone had heard of or said before. And we're like, this is awesome. It's like new, it's fresh, it's like perfect for us. And then like a few years later, like I guess Obama started using the word blame shift and it, like now it's in like the Urban Dictionary and stuff. And so we like, we like to take responsibility for that. Should have charged him for that. <laughs> Hashtag blame shift. Yeah, we right, own, exactly. You own that. Right, 100%. We should have trademarked it. Darn. <laughs> what do you think the biggest accomplishment so far for you guys musically? Oh, gosh, there's there's a lot. Um, I would say Warp Tour was a really big thing for us. That was like a big turning point for us. We got uh, we played a female fronted stage for many years, and um, that was something that was really cool. We also got to play the American Airlines Arena in Ooh, Miami. Okay, um, that was something again that was like you know life changing Absolutely. playing in front of twenty five thousand people. So. What do you want the world to know about Blame Shift? What is it that you want to tell the world so they recognize you guys and, and, and start listening to you guys? Um, for I think that like anybody that knows our band, it's all about like perseverance. Like we really um, kind of gotten through a lot and because of music, right. um, you know, there's a lot of bands that gave up or just were like, we, you know, this is too much for us or we can't handle the road. Um, we can't handle like the member changes and the personalities and all the, the, the breakdowns and the buses, you know, like on the side of the road. And like, we just kept, we use every one of those, um, every one of those obstacles to just grow. And, um, and now we're making like, we're making the best music of our career, which is always like something you hope for, but right. not some bands like peak and then like, you know, we are just, we always been on like a steady climb up and um, it's all about like perseverance and just like never giving up, so. Right on. Um, well, after listening to you guys, I absolutely love what I heard and I, I'm gonna talk to the, hopefully the stations that I work with awesome. and get some of your guys' music in rotation. That'd be awesome. For you guys. We have some new stuff coming that's awesome. Right on, well, let's get it to us. Definitely okay. will. Um, I heard you talk about the uh, the jewelry. Yep. Um, you own the, the the business Strung Jewelry. Yep. So how did that idea and inspiration come to be with the Hall of Music? Yeah. So it's pretty funny because, it um, you know, I we were like I said we were on the road 300 days a year for many years and like our parents were like are you like what are you guys like what's the end goal like what are you guys gonna do with your lives like you're not gonna tour forever and we're like thinking in the back of our heads like something has got to come out of this like something like. You know, every a lot of musicians mm -hmm. find some other like little side niche. niche that like just plays off of what they do, and mm -hmm. and obviously you know everyone needs to make money, and absolutely stuff like that, like so, Maddie Rocks. Yeah, there you go. So, um, 
so, you know, in my in the back of my mind, I always said, you know what, something's gonna come from my music. Like I worked so hard, I dedicated my life to this. Something positive is gonna come from this. And about four years ago, um, Tim was changing his strings in our bus, and I picked them up. And as I was wrapping them to throw them in the garbage, I was like, wait a second, those are so cool. Like the colors are like perfect metal colors, you know, like that that just look awesome. I'm like, I have to do something with these. Like this, I just had an idea. We went to a local Michaels. I bought a bunch of charms. I put them on the bracelets. I hand wrapped them with wire, took them to our merch table. And that night we sold out of everything that I had. And like that, the rest of that tour, people were lining up to buy the bracelets. And people that didn't even see our show were buying our bracelets. We were selling more of those than our CDs and t-shirts. And I was like, hold on a second. So wow. yeah, so um, took, uh, a couple months off from touring to just kind of like come up with a name and a logo and 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 like kind of just come up with the whole concept which is music inspired jewelry inspired by your favorite songs so every piece of jewelry is inspired by a song so popular songs anything from the Beatles to Aerosmith to Metallica so wow. so customers shop from a playlist it's super like it's different it's unique and um, people love it because people love music right. so it's been a really big blessing and um, it's taken us like places that we never thought we would ever go and, and now we're entrepreneurs, so. Good for you, <laughs> yeah. right on. Um, where can you send interested fans and followers uh, to find out more about what Blame Shift is up to, including all the great music yeah. and the um, jewelry? Yeah, so for Blame Shift, um, you can check us out on our Facebook or Instagram, which is just at Blame Shift. And then obviously YouTube, Spotify, Pandora, iTunes and all that kind of good stuff. Um, and then for our jewelry, it's getstrung.com. The company's okay. called Strung. Um, the website's getstrung.com, and we have a full store. You can shop there. And there's we're also in, like, about 400 retail stores around the world. So Right on. Yeah, and growing every day. Good, good for you. <laughs> I'm going to give you the same opportunity I give every artist I have the opportunity to sit with, and that's awesome. a message to Maddie Rocks listeners. What would you, Jenny, like to say to these individuals who are going to potentially hear and see this interview? Well, first of all, thank you for supporting music and independent shows like this. Um, we appreciate that. And um, keep listening. Keep supporting. And that's, that's all I can say. And check out Blame Shift and Strong. Right on. <laughs> Thanks for taking the time out of your last of day at NAMM. Continue to sex to everything you guys got going on. Thank Sounds you so great. Much. Really right. appreciate it. Thank Maddie you. Rocks and Jenny Nam. Well, Jenny Man, you have an edit to do. <laughs> uh, Jenny Man closing out Nam 2020. Maddie Rocks out.